Well, they quit biting on that X wrap, so I went to a, a grubster. You can see, nice bluegill, probably eight and a half, nine incher. Uh, hopefully, them panfish are up here. We bought a bunch of about a 25 little dinky crankbaits that were working pretty good last time, but we only had one each. We'll let this guy go. I just put the anchor down after I caught that big bluegill and I'm next cast on the grubster. <laughs> big old bass, huh? I'm anchoring because it's only about three feet deep here and if I run the trolling motor it'll muddy the whole bottom up and run all these fish off of the spot because I've made that mistake before on this spot so I anchor here nice bass that's about two and a half three pounder there you take grubster off of there nice fish though Another one on the grubster. Oh, what is it? Big crappie? Looks like crappie. Oh yeah, nice crappie. Oh, there he goes. That's about a 12 incher. Next cast. After that crappie. I think it's another crappie. Feels like. Yep, another crappie. Not as big as that last one though. About a 10 incher. They're in here just like they were a few years ago. Well, this ain't no crappie. It is, it's a monster. Whoa, take and drag. I'm guessing another nice big old bass. <laughs> Son. Whew, what a great day to be on the water. Come in. Little 16 ounce jig head. Because it's so shallow here. You want it to have a little bit of hang time. There he is. Oh, nice. Nice on the ultralight. There he is. I kept getting a lot of short hits on the grubster. So I went to the old standby, a bobber with the grubster underneath it, and I can just let it sit there then. Wind's a little bit of a breeze, but nice crappie here. should probably keep a couple and eat them. I'm on a low-carb diet for the last six months. I might keep him. That plastic 